Nano Jomo 2016 by Creative Katie. That's me, Karen Virgil. Take the time to hit the subscribe button and choose the option to get notified of upcoming videos. That way you won't miss any. Nano Jomo number 12 using the prompt Blue Eyes. So I'm in my altered book. And I've done a couple other of the Nano Jomos in here on backgrounds that already existed. So I am going to use, yes, still one more background that I had done quite a long time ago. And um, unfortunately or fortunately, I'm using the, the background with the peacock stamp, which I just did Nano Jomo number 11 on a page in my Canson Mixed Media Journal. But the colors were right and the size of the page was right for what I had in my head. And because I'm a little bit done, I'm a little bit behind on the Nano Jomos, I just thought I'm gonna utilize the backgrounds that I have. But I'm just showing you there, there's a couple little nicks and tears and paint drips that um, over time have just happened on the page. And I'm just applying a little bit more paint just to touch it up. Again, this is that perfection part of me that I just wanted to, to do, but there's always a way to fix things. So I went into my stash and I went in the fo fo file folder, body parts, people, babies and I had all these pictures of eyes. I had no idea ever what I was going to use for them, but it seems to be a good fit with this prompt. So that's another way you can save time on your journal page. If you have some magazines that you gotten at the thrift store or the, um, from your neighbors, go through them, cut them up, sort them out, put them in file folders in something like the big blue box storage system and then when you are journaling sometimes when you're looking for inspiration or for a focal point you can look in there and find that piece so I rounded off the edges of these and I'm simply putting two sets of eyes on there both are blue but I really really love the one on the bottom it has this peacock blue eye makeup on it that just really shows off well with the peacock background here so the stamp to create the background and I'll put a link to the uh, video where I showed how to how to do that background um, using my dilutions paint and the Ranger blending tools I use the Stampendous um, stamp to get the background and I'm going to put a link to that to the Amazon store where you can purchase that if that's something that you are interested in. I've also put a link to the stencil that you see that I've done in black along the curvy side on the right side. That is the Kite brand of stencils and um, it's another great stencil to use. So I went on Pinterest and I got the quote, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. And so again, I had the quote, I printed that out on to paper that was just a little thicker than copy paper. The background was done, the eyes were in the folder. So this page is really about assembling it and then adding the details just to make it pop. So it's not a complicated uh, journal page at all and it didn't take very long to assemble it and add the details and that's okay. I love how using the matte gel, the Liquidus matte gel on the um, magazine cutouts it just really makes them matte so it takes away that shine from the magazine and gives it a nice finish to them I 
I do have to admit that I did a lot of kind of fussy placing with the eyes. Am I going with two sets of eyes, three sets of eyes, one set of eyes? Um, you know, and I kept flipping the different blue backgrounds to get the right size. So using my Micron pen, I'm just outlining the quote. And I believe this is a 0 0.08 Micron. I like that one or the 0 0.05. I don't like going smaller for the purposes of our journaling. Sometimes, and I do go afterwards and I take my Stabilo All Pencil and go around the quote as well, but sometimes I like it to do both. One gives the defined shape and one is more smudge, smudgy look. So I'm trying to get a rather dark line around the pictures with the Stabilo All Pencil. And again, if you don't have a Stabilo All Pencil, you can use a watercolor pencil, an Inktense pencil, an Inktense block. Uh, Neo Color 2s will work for that. Um, you know, don't be limited to, to that. You can also um, use acrylic paints and shade around with that by thinning, thinning the brush. And I think maybe that's something I will show on an upcoming video. It's kind of a throwback to shading how I used to have to do it when I did folk art painting. Um, and I just like to show people that technique. It, it takes a little bit of practice, but it doesn't require you to go buy other products. So it's kind of nice in that respect. So again, here's, here's where just the little details of um, how to add that shading around focal points that just makes it blend into the page, makes it more cohesive, um, makes everything stand out better. And shading, you know, when I first started shading, I did not like it. I struggled. It wasn't neat enough. It wasn't precise enough. And as I kept going and practicing, you know, I don't know if I got any better on it or if it changed at all. I just feel more confident with it. If you put water there and just let it um, kind of pull out, the paint will go where the water is. Um, you can get some nice, interesting effects. And you can always add more, more Stabilo Oil pencil or more water, depending on the look. Um, the thing you really can't do is try to rush it. You need to dry it in between, um, or you'll end up sponging it. You know, sometimes people have said, you know, in the Facebook groups that I that I watch, they, they're scared to put focal points on. They don't want to ruin a perfectly lovely background. Take a picture of the background and save it because you can probably create it again. And you know what? You may just be holding yourself back from creating a great page. I think sometimes the background really comes to life when you put something on it. And if you're not liking what you're putting on it, try maybe changing the scale of what you're putting on it. I found that um, initially I would put things that were too small and the page would look a little too cluttered somehow. But if I put bigger items or font use bigger fonts for the quote, I really liked the end result. So it kind of has to match. So if you're not happy with it, play with the size of the focal point and or quote.
Then with the white on the page, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I need a little bit of white in this stencil that I created with black acrylic paint through the Kite Peacock Feather stencil. And uh, so I'm just taking my Unibol Signo white gel pen and just adding white in the midst. Sometimes I do a double line, sometimes it's a single line. I really didn't have a plan, so I'm not very consistent. But I really like the way the white just made it pop and added to the overall page. Just that little bit of detail. The peacock feathers, the round part of the peacock feather, kind of looks like eyes. So that was another reason I chose this background, even though I had just done the last page with the same background, a very similar background. I just figured this one you know, it looked like it had the eyes in there. Now, originally on the background, I had um, shaded with black, but I decided I need a little bit more, so I grabbed my black gelato, and I'm putting it on rather thickly, and I'm just rubbing it. I'm not activating it with water. I'm not using a baby wipe here. I want it to look pretty dark to just frame... Um, this page. And I'm just sticking in a um, plastic cutting board just so I don't get the paint on the next page. And by putting that dark black on the back on the edge, it really drew it draws the attention to the eyes. So signing my name and dating it. Coming up are some stills of this page. I hope you've enjoyed watching me do the details of this page and have learned a few things about using, getting I, I prepared ahead of time so that your journaling time doesn't have to be this long, drawn out period. So when you sit down, you can do, accomplish a page in less time because you've done little bits and pieces along the way. Thank you again for watching. Take time to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. I answer every comment. Thank you.